What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I am here in Disney World again. I've actually never been to Magic Kingdom, so I'm happy to be here. I got my whole family over there. A lot of my family, not my whole family, but a lot of my family. And I've had the opportunity to really dig into some things. And so when I was getting stuff together early this morning and I was talking to my uncle, who's, I would say, probably in his mid 50s, approaching 60, been married for 30 plus years. And I talk to you guys all the time and I have a conversation with you. And um, often at times I try to give you the game and I say, hey, my whole family has been married for the entire time, never divorced, no kids out of wedlock. You know, all of that good stuff, right? And so I'm talking to him. You got to, you know, excuse all of the roughness. I'm shooting a new Tiege Hanley commercial. 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Make sure you tap in there. Right? And I was talking to him, right? And it's funny because he's out there. He's out there. He's kicking it. He's hanging out. Uncle and my brother is out there. That's my brother. That's my uncle right there. And um, I'm talking to him. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> happy birthday, Jazz. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm talking to Unc and I'm like, hey, it's me and him in the kitchen and he's putting up some coffee or whatever. And I say, if you were single today, where would you take a woman? Because I wanted to get his insight based off of what they're happening on the Cheesecake Factory situation. And a woman responded and all of that. And I said, where would you take a girl, um, you know, if you were single today? And it was... <laughs> It blew my mind because he got the same mentality today as he had in yesteryear, right? And he got married in his 20s, just like me. I got married when I was 22 years old, and he's been married the entire time. Family is over there having a good time or whatever. And I said, where, where, where would you take a girl on a first date, right? And he was like, Psh, take a girl on a first date? He's like, man, he's like, listen, as a 50-plus-year-old man, is much different today my mentality today is much different than when I was 20, but it's still the same in a lot of ways. And he said, you know where I used to take chicks on the first date? I said, where? He said, we used to go to Home Depot. <laughs> real recognized real. And he was that guy, and he's still that guy. And he said, listen, I would take a chick to Home Depot. And I just bust out laughing because when I looked at the mentality of the people today versus the people of yesteryear, a simp is a simp is gonna be a simp 10 times out of 10. And he didn't say that I would take her out to a restaurant. He didn't say I would take her out to, you know, any of these other places or try to impress her or this special date or whatever. He said, man, I'll take my chick out to home. He said, man, we used to go and, I, need, I needed to go and pick out some faucets. I was renovating my home. I need to take care of this, or whatever, so on and so forth. He said, man, we going to Home Depot. We about to go and look at some chandeliers, some lights we might dream. And I want to see what her mentality is and all of that stuff. And it, it just confirmed to me what I've always believed, what I preach to you guys on a regular basis. And I know a lot of y'all want to fight it. You want to say, hey, Anton, it's different today than it was in yesteryear. No, you different today than it was in yesteryear. And you need to stop, A, spending money on women that's not... How many times I got to tell you? Stop spending money and leading with your money. Even if you got money on women that don't have your best interest at heart, you're going to end up in their phone as food. Straight up. You think that it wasn't chicks for the streets and it was hoes? But no, it just wasn't social media in order for us to broadcast it the way. And in a lot of ways, they were a lot more egregious than they are today. You know what I'm saying? And so as a result, as a result, um, you need to just move a little bit differently and and if a chick ain't rocking with you because you want to go to Home Depot and you're like, hey, rock out. Actually, I think that's one of the dopest dates. You go to Lowe's, you go to Home Depot, you go to a furniture store, you go and see what's happening. Forget the coffee shop. That's what I think is dope. You go and do something that's a little bit more unique and you see what her mentality is and it's going to give you a completely different sense of, of what it is that you're supposed to be doing as far as moving inside of your situation. Ultimately, what it comes down to is this, y'all is that if you are getting rejected or if you're not dealing with the type of women that you want to deal with based off of the supposed standards that they saying that they having, then that's not necessarily the women that you want to deal with anyway. Now, if you're just trying to vet for a buzz down for the night, that's much, much different than trying to vet for a person that you're trying to figure out whether or not you want to be in a long-term relationship that could eventually lead to marriage. 
I'm not a person that's advocating for marriage. I'm advocating for being successfully married. I don't want y'all linking up with each other in order to get divorced. I want y'all linking up with each other based off of how it is that you can have the best results possible, whether you're single or you're married, right? And some people are not in a position to be in that space. Some people are not ready to be in that space. Some people are just more likely to be comfortable in the spaces that they in and then they want to just continue to evolve and learn and get the information so that if they decide that that's the spaces that they want to be in they'll be able to be successful with regard to it but listen man that's phenomenal advice take that chick somewhere where you are already headed to it it don't have to necessarily be home depot or anything like that but whatever you about to do listen if you working on your car hey why don't you come roll out with me today so i can go and take care of some business Hey, let's just go hang out. I might go and take you out and, and, and get some lunch as a result of it. Just hang out. Just chill. Just relax. Don't spend no money. Don't leave with no money. And more importantly, they ain't even worth the money. And I'm going to tell you this, honestly. That chick is going to have the best time of her life picking out faucets and looking at tubs. And that, that's a way better time, right? Most of the time, you have more fun doing the things that's normal, everyday things than trying to plan for something in order to entertain people. And I tell y'all all the time that most of the time just dating, like if you're going out to eat and you're going out to these spaces or whatever like that, just dating in that traditional sense, you're not learning nothing about each other. And that's why you got to stop listening to these people that's not in successful relationships that can't give you game as to how it is that you need to be able to vet effectively in order to find a person that you need to be with. These women can't coach you. These men they ain't never been in no real successful relationship or marriage so they can't really help you and so you got to be able to vet more effectively and you need to just do the things that you're doing normally and naturally and then let them come along with it and see how they react to it if they're not going according to your your plan or your purpose and i'm gonna be honest with you also with this you take her out and you just enjoying life and you ain't spending one dime on her you spending spending money on yourself she gonna give you whatever it is that you want whatever that is if it's a mission if it's just a good time if it's entertainment if it's something else that go along with it and then you go ahead and you take care of business on the other front and she gonna give you everything and she gonna take advantage of him and he gonna be the person that's in her phone is food that's a fact though stop simping out bro stop stop thinking that you have to do more and, and, and one more thing before we get up out of here stop worshiping women they are not to be worshipped. They are to be utilized. They are a help me, not your God. They're not your God. Y'all y'all pedestalizing these women and they becoming y'all God. You obsessed with them. You obsessed with everything that they that they say that they can offer. And all they're doing is giving you a headache because they not they can't do nothing for you at all. If anything, you should be over them. They should be obsessing over you. It's not supposed to be the opposite. It's not supposed to be the other way around. Come on, man. Y'all got to do better. We got to do better. Hold the line. We're going to get it together. We are all move in unison. We all going to be successful. And we're going to keep running it up. Get your bag. Do the things that you want to do. And then add them at your convenience. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm about to enjoy all of this. Right, Jules? <laughs> I'm out. Peace.